And turning now to another institution that has inflamed imaginations for over a century. The story of Peter Pan. And now he has come to Beijing. The China National Theatre for Children is staging its own version of Peter Pan for the New Year period. Our reporter Liu Wenwen takes us to the flying debut. Does Peter Pan fly? Yes, he does. And in more ways than one. The dazzling performance enchanted the audience that packed the China National Theatre for Children. But when asked whether they'd ever heard of Peter Pan, many children shook their heads. Their parents said the play was a great introduction to the famous character. I think plays are a great way to tell stories to kids, especially the story of Peter Pan. This is the sparkling new adaptation, a really stunning show. The story of Peter Pan is one that appeals to both children and adults, as the stars of the play explained. When I'm up in the air, I'm both nervous and excited because I'm realizing my dream on the stage, but also fulfilling those of many others. The fantastic nature of the story called for a little magic behind the curtains. Some of the most spectacular scenes were made possible thanks to the flying effects company that organized the opening ceremony of the 2008 Olympics. Advanced multimedia technologies and imaginative settings went into the creation of the fantasy world of Neverland. The story of Peter Pan is multifaceted. It's about love, courage, coming of age, and much more. The stage set and the technologies serve the storytelling and the performances of the actors. We want this show to be both amusing and substantial. There will be over a dozen performances of Peter Pan in Beijing, over a dozen chances for children in the capital to experience the magic of Neverland. It's said that there is a Peter Pan living inside almost everyone. And this refreshing version certainly resonates with those young at heart. Perhaps it is a reminder of playful and careful times, yet as a New Year gift for little ones and grown-ups alike. The one went CCTV, Beijing.